this uh, OS version 4. Nickname Harmony is being an update that a lot of folks have been waiting for for a long time. Uh, it was once thought that this OS had been completely utterly abandoned. I believe the founder uh, left and uh, all sorts of interesting stuff happened behind the scenes. And uh, since this was a rolling release, it's, it's, you know, it's been carrying on by itself for years, but no new installs or anything like that have really been around for a while. And uh, happy to see they've managed to get another uh, release out the door. And um, I do see that in the future, though, they are talking about deprecating Mate Mate Edition. And um, I believe the uh, main edition, of course, is Budgie, because uh, this is the team that uh, initially developed Budgie before it split off into its own type of uh, environment. So today, let's take a look at the uh, Solus, and of course, I have never ever used this uh, distro, so looking quite forward to it. So let's just install a file. Let's just install Solus here. Let's give it eight gigs of memory, and I'll just give it six gigs. And see what happens. Mm -hmm. I remember many years ago uh, when this was all the rage. It was very popular to use. And uh, a lot of folks uh, swore by it. That was quite quick. Let's go. Uh, cool, precise property. Thank goodness. And here we have the environment using budgie and let's start off by being fair and giving this a quick install so we can choose english see that for a different installer choose your time zone i'm just going to do los angeles automatically partition that's fine we don't get an lvm so low SVM, we need a little bit louder. Okay, that user should have strong administrative privileges. Uh, you don't want a stronger password, do you? Okay, add now. Okay. Install. Okay. It's installing. So all that does that. Let's see what they've got installed here. Looks like the normal LibreOffice. With a box, G parted, budget desktop, system monitor. We'll take a look at once it's installed. So that's there. Uh, G edit Nemo. Tabulator. Okay, and of course, a terminal. So they're using a Nemo for manage instead of files or known files. Okay, finalizing file copy. Actually, this is extremely quick installation so far. Nice, clean interface, really like that. Um, I just keep looking at uh, the settings here, which I'll look at properly in depth just now, but you can see here it's got these different styles. Uh, dark, which we'll do afterwards. Desktop icons, etc. And let's go restart now. So, oh. the back. So there's four harmonies. And I really like, again, that this is so built in nicely. Um, but it works pretty well out the box with boxes. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. That was quick. Stupidly quick. So if we go to again to the desktop settings, different widgets, I'm going to say and the appearance, I'm gonna just say dark uh, icon dark. I'm gonna change my cursor and I'm going to move this uh, notifications to the top right, dark team built and clean animations. Desktop icons on all um on Raven. So your widgets, your windows, your button layout, I'm going to move that to the left. Um bottom panel, what you need, what auto starts, and system settings. Okay, the traditional no I'm not no. Okay. And of course all these little nice Wallpapers. Just um, change it to that so it's easier lies. Okay, so well, the control center. Okay, watch control center. Desktop settings. And here's the software center. So, of course, um, use this to install your software. Um, obviously, what's been installed, what third party stuff is available. And what's home? So if I go to multimedia and graphics, and I go audio software, uh, these are the options I've got uh, to install because this isn't based on another distro. Um, you could also use flat packs in here or something if you wanted. So let's go install Strawberry. Click, click install, and automatically sort out dependencies. Put in password that wall is at the moment bottom so it's time running that stuff pretty cool uh, settings once a week search third party will get to that um, and it should be installed so I go back but you know go to sound it's strawberry. Strawberries installed. Pretty cool, pretty quick. Enough to okay. Let's look at third party stuff. So uh, music production, Android development. Um, these are some third party application options that they give folks. Um, some of these are not are not necessarily open source of free but uh, they did give you the option to try it so I'll just do go dev and hit install type in my password again authenticate it let's go to hardware drivers a drivers found tap now here Thanks. So it's cool, 6.3.8. Gear, minus H. Really not using much storage and very. If I go to. Yeah, it's just still good Chrome. This way it takes time. A monitor, so system monitor. Okay, really. Pretty decent on memory, one, one and a half gigs. Process usage, not too bad. It isn't stalling after all, and really hasn't used much hard drive space. Okay, so that looks like it's installed. Go to internet, all Chrome on stables. And you've got your Google Chrome installed. Pretty, pretty nifty. All really quick and easy. See you so really happy and excited to see come out again. Um, you know, folks were very um, sad that some of that had to migrate away, and yeah, this is as you can see, this is the budget version with uh, some of GNOME's or GNOME's uh, software. This budget is built on top of it, uh, so Gedit, Firefox, uh, all these pre-installed. Um, and of course, 
using some different tweaks. And yeah, nice array of software you can install. So if I do VRC, this is of course doing the and the installation via the GUI instead of the CLI. And if I just go here, we oh yeah. um, so browser steps and if you're interested so it was update via CLI again I know I don't know this uh OS that well Oh, uh, just this, this the uh, PKG uh, manager, which uh, pseudo ERP. Let's upgrade. My mistake. No packages to upgrade. Um. Yeah, this is all pretty cool, pretty decent to use. Um, but Jeff, if you're interested in trying uh, this OS out again, why not? We had to put a little bit about it, but Jeff, as you can see, first impressions looks decent and wish the team all the best for the future. As always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.